Time for more Doom! Three, to be precise. We had uh, just wandered around, shot some um, little spider critters, and uh, got back inside without dying of um, lack of oxygen. Oh, right, and I'd run out of memory to save games. Um, so actually, I had to replay that section. Um, I still ended up with about the same level of health and ammo and armor, I think. And uh, I did, in fact, clear space on one of my hard drives, so I can actually save from now on. That was kind of embarrassing. Still got to fight this guy up here, though. There we go. Okay, so, when we last left, I was going to uh, loot things. Yay, loot! So, either the UAC has horrible, like, equipment storage procedures, policies, or in the, what, two hours since this uh, whole invasion happened, people just started, like, spraying weapons and ammo everywhere. Oh, hello. Damn. Hey, stop, stop sidestepping, you ass. I can't believe it. There we go. down their little uh, thingy stuff. So. stuff hanging out on these shelves. A PDA. I'm gonna loot things before I go after that PDA though. Chainsaws just cut right through the armor. I could reload, but I'm not going to. We're going to play this out with 26 health. Because that's just how I am. Let's see, James Holiday had a PDA. What's he got? An audio log, a couple emails, chainsaws. What are we going to This is the audio log of controller James Holiday, dated September 24th, 2145. Recent transport issues from Site 3 have caused the board to call a formal inquiry. Study 
weight limits, and suggest better ways to provide protection for Site 3 artifacts. Our equipment... What the fuck? Oh, God damn it. PDAs, does anything work with this? We'll finish this later.
This is the audio log of office around Ridge Gate at October 16, 2145. The recent French court tunnel accidents are causing major headaches for both supply and maintenance. Each accident cost is an estimated one to three hours delay, one most of the time is the ship. It's becoming evident that certain junctions need safety adjustments as well as recommitment to driving safety by all personnel. The Improtocom Center route has shown the biggest increase in accidents over the past six months. Safety signs and approved lighting are needed throughout the main junctions over the stretch of tunnels and paths. Absolutely, no recreational vehicle passage should be allowed during peak hours. All personnel should use monorail travel whenever possible to keep cargo shipments flowing smoothly.